Hello everyone, today we're gonna review the Dario Chewy H101X. This pink gamepad works on PC, Android and Nintendo Switch. You can get this gamepad on BZ Future Store. They have a wide variety of gamepads, computer peripherals and accessories. And by using the coupon VKBZ, you can get a 15% of discount. In the box you'll get the controller, a braided USB Type-C cable, and I'm pretty impressed with the quality, it's pretty good. And let's take a look at the manual. On the ergonomic side, it is pretty good, it's a large controller, perfect for players with big hands. The buttons also have a nice space between them, even more space than the Nixie Joy-Cons. Here's another comparison with the Vader 2 Pro, and it's pretty close to the DualShock 4. And here's the Xbox Series controller. The main body of the controller is made of plastic, but the grips are made of rubber. It's hard to show in the video, but in person you can feel the difference in the texture. And here's a size comparison, showing how much larger it is compared to the original Xbox controller. It is larger than the original Switch Pro controller. And it loses only to the Nixie Joy-Cons, which is the largest controller I have. When holding this controller, you have a lot of space in the back to accommodate your fingers. The analog sticks are extremely similar to the Xbox 360 controller. And so does the D-pad. It has a nice pivot in the center, and you cannot press all of the directions at once. The start and select buttons have rubber membranes, but the home, turbo and catcher buttons have clicky switches. The same goes for the shoulder buttons and they can be pressed at any point. The triggers are analog triggers. And you don't have back buttons on this controller. The light in the home button will change depending on the mode you're using. And I tested on my smartphone and it works well. Pressing Y plus Home lets you pair with the Nintendo Switch. Sadly, the analog sticks have dead zones in the axis. This will make you lose a lot of precision when aiming.
and it has the Xbox layout as default. But by pressing and holding all buttons, you can change the layout to the Nintendo Switch. It has the wake up function, and here's the turbo function. You can adjust the turbo speed too. By pressing turbo and select, you will clear all of the buttons with turbo enabled. And by doing the turbo combination twice, you can activate it permanently without the need to hold the button down. You can use the button remap function of the switch to remap any of the buttons you want. And it has gyro sensors. On the D-pad test, it worked pretty well. All of the diagonals are easily accessed. A good point of this controller is that on the circularity test, it reported a 0% error. Not even the King Kong 2 Pro from Gully Kit achieved this. Moving to the teardown, you have 8 screws on the back. And here you can see the battery. The mechanism of the triggers have potentiometers. The rumble motors have connectors, which is pretty good, but the battery is soldered to the board, making replacements a little bit harder. On the other side of the board, you can see the switches for the home, capture, and turbo buttons. and the shoulder buttons. The contact pads for the face buttons are golden, which is good, and the rubber membrane is tightly secured on the board. On the analog sticks, the stick box is made entirely of metal. The brand is RSP. Sadly, the connector for the plastic piece of the sticks is a bit different, so replacing them will also be difficult. And here's a look at the D-pad. It is screwed in place. Overall, the Dario gamepad is quite solid. It has a good build quality, the D-pad is great, and the analog sticks passed perfectly in the circularity test. Too bad it has dead zone in the axis. If it wasn't for this, this would be one of the best analog sticks I've ever tested. 
and being able to use it on PC and Android is a bonus. And that's all for this review. If you like my content, subscribe to the channel to see the next videos. Leaving a comment or a like also helps me out. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.